Good morning everybody, it is now Friday and the time is quarter past ten in the morning. I've been awake for a couple of hours and I've just been chilling in my bed, looking at things online, catching up with emails, just stuff like that. Yesterday was a very busy day and I purposely didn't put any pressure on myself to get up at any particular time or rush off to do anything in particular but despite that I do have a couple of plans today. My main plan tonight is to go and see a baseball game and the San Francisco team is away at the moment but nearby in a town called Oakland which is just over a bridge they have a, another baseball team so I'm hoping to catch the Oakland A's tonight in their game. I think it's against the Texas Rangers. My other plan is just to generally explore the city today. I'm not going to venture too far from my hotel because I'm going to have to come back here at some point. But I was thinking I could maybe go to the Cheesecake Factory for lunch. Hopefully it will be less busy than it was the other night when I went to like a ridiculous time in the evening when everybody was there. I think they open at 11, but I don't know whether I'm going to be like bashing down the door to get at them because I'm not really too hungry right now. But yes, I'm going to explore Union Square, see what other shops there are around here, and maybe just check out the central area of the city. I've just finished filming a little update video for my YouTube channel because I just wanted to explain what's been going on and I picked out this hat to just kind of illustrate where I've been I think I might actually keep it on, I don't know does it go with my look? I'm not really too sure but I've worn the blue San Francisco hat quite a lot so I'll maybe change it up a bit and have this one on today okay so outfit of the day You've obviously seen my YouTube hats. Got a pink cardigan, blue vest top, and this is my skirt. And it goes right down to my ankles. Well, almost. Okay, so I'm going to finish getting ready, and then I'm going to go out and see what the city has to offer for me. I'm now on the rooftop of the Cheesecake Factory. I have a lovely little table here. This is my setup while I figure out what to drink. Thank you so much. I have probably the, one of the best views of Union Square right now. Look at this. Look at that. And this is my friend the seagull. He's hoping I'll give him some food. It's totally beautiful up here. I'm absolutely loving it. So I'm just figuring out what I want to eat for lunch. And then the even harder decision, I'm going to have to figure out which cheesecake I want. So this should be fun. But it's lovely out here. So much so that I'm actually wishing I'd brought my sun cream with me. Because I'll maybe burn a little out here, but that's okay. I'll survive that. But it's a lovely view, it's a beautiful day and I'm soon going to have some great food as well, so it's all good. My lemonade has arrived. This is a lot fancier than what I was expecting. It's got sugar around the, the rim and it looks homemade, but I could be wrong. It looks gorgeous though, I was just expecting something out of a can, but this is really nice. This is the crusted chicken Romano. This is a lunch portion which is meant to be smaller. And oh my. Oh my. That was very delicious, but also very filling. I'll show you what's left on my plate, and I have ate quite a lot. Got all the spaghetti. And that's the chicken Romano. It's kind of like a crusty thing. It was really nice. This is such a lovely place to sit and eat. I was thinking I was going to be inside, but when they asked if I wanted to come out here, I was like, yeah, that sounds fun. So it's been good to kind of be out in the sunshine a little bit and enjoy the good weather. And now it's time to figure out which of these wonderful cheesecakes I want to try. The answer is all of them, but obviously I can't have them all right now. Luckily 
thankfully this Cheesecake Factory is quite near to my hotel so I can pop back later if I decide I want to try some more but obviously there are other places in San Francisco that I should be trying out. I finally decided on the salted caramel cheesecake and this thing is just amazingly massive. I have a weak spot for salted caramel so I'm really looking forward to this so I'm going to put the camera away now and get started. As you can see I'm back at the hotel, the bed has been made by the lovely maid. I couldn't finish my cheesecake, it was absolutely delicious and it's very rare that I'm not able to finish a dessert but the portion sizes were very generous. What the guy did for me was he boxed it up and put it into a bag for me. So I went to a few shops before I came back to the hotel and as I was walking down the street I got pulled into one of them really really annoying things where it's like somebody's out in the street and then they pull you into the shop to try out their amazing skincare sample. She put moisturizer on both of my hands to kind of compare what the moisturizer was like when put onto the skin directly and what moisturizer was like after exfoliating and on the, the hands that hadn't been exfoliated she kind of spread the cream like butter and then said look it's not sinking in and then on my other hand she like really really put it into the sin, skin really smoothed it out and she's going oh wow look how great it is and I knew what she was doing I didn't kind of let on but I knew that she'd not done the same to one hand than she was to the other and she wasn't fairly representing this product or demoing it in a way that truly reflected how it benefited my skin so I politely told her no several times it's one of these places where they really are quite persistent and then I went on my way to Lush and I'm looking around and I'm talking to one of the sales assistants and then suddenly I realise I left my cheesecake in the shop where the woman was trying to sell me the moisturiser and I was like oh my oh no I've left my cheesecake and we were just laughing because I was like I'm not going back I'm not going back to get my cheesecake as much as I love the cheesecake as much as I would love to have it back I'm not going back into that store for my cheesecake, she can just have it. You know, I'm just not going through all that again. So we were laughing at how ridiculous it was to just like leave a cheesecake, a half eaten cheesecake in this shop with her. I did give her one of my business cards because she was asking for the details of the channel and it felt a bit mean to be like, no, you can't have them. You're trying to con me. So she's got one of my business cards. I don't think she's going to be looking up the videos. I get that impression. I think it was just she was just saying whatever she needed to say to get me to try and buy this cream. So if you happen to be watching lady, hi, I hope you enjoyed the rest of my cheesecake. I want to just have a shower and get cleaned up and everything. So um, yeah, I'm going to be doing that for the next couple of hours. And then sadly I'm going to have to say goodbye to this camera temporarily because when you go to like events where it's, they're doing like bag searches and security checks and stuff they get very nervous when they see cameras like the one I've got here. So I'm going to be taking out my little mini camera instead. So I'm going to say cheerio, goodbye to this camera as well, my favourite old trusty. And I shall see you later when I head out to Oakland. Hi folks, it's almost time for me to go so let me show you outfit number two of the day. I have my baseball cap, my checkered shirt, my paisley jeans again, and my shoes. So I'm heading over to Oakland now and I'm very excited. I've got my ticket sorted already. I managed to get through to them on the phone. So I'm going to be quite far forward in seat number nine. Now, I don't know what I'm really talking about when it comes to certain sections, but as soon as they said seat nine, I knew I had to be in it. So I'm very excited and it's time to go. So let's get going. 
folks had a great time at the baseball game. You maybe saw some of my pictures and my videos there in a montage I'm presumably going to make. Like my hat. Okay, so as I was sitting in a row, there was somebody with an English accent sitting behind me asking questions about baseball. So meet Jack. Hey, I knew some questions. I knew most of the answers. Yeah. It's when you ordered the corn dog and that was like my next move, so I had to find something else to try. Churros aren't really good by the way. So corn yeah. Dogs are. are they? Awesome. I'm still to get a corn dog. Still working on the corn dog thing guys. He's also a YouTuber, so click on his face, go see his channel. He's going all around the US. So that should be fun. Till December, yeah. Till December, oh wow. So I don't know about you guys, but I love a good travel vlog and I love just nosying into other people's lives, so I'm going to go and give, give him a follow. I'm reunited with my regular camera, yay! I do miss it when I have to put it away somewhere. So yes, as you saw, I went to the baseball game. I didn't really take many photos or videos or anything like that, but I was there enjoyed the few that I had and while I was there I met another YouTuber his name's Jack and yeah he's just started YouTube he's just started an amazing amazing travel opportunity traveling from the west coast of the USA to the east coast and you know taking a few months to do that I think his channel is really genuinely going to be very interesting to watch. He seems to be looking around at as many things as he possibly can while he's everywhere he goes. He only has two videos up so far. I've watched them both. I really genuinely have enjoyed them. So I'm excited to see where he goes next. And as a person, Jack is just so confident there's no other word for it. I wouldn't have... I can't imagine myself being like that when I was his age. That makes me sound so old. If you want to go and join his journey, I've put his channel details down below, or maybe you've already clicked on his face like I told you to. But yes, I, I think he's um, going to be one to watch. If you like travel vlogs anyway, I certainly do. I think it's going to be an interesting thing to see. So yes, that's the end of my day. The Teams Oakland Days is my team now. They sadly lost the game tonight. But it was really fun to actually see one in person and sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game. I've actually been practicing. Genuinely been learning the lyrics and stuff. I had a great time even though the team did lose. I also tried churros, which I wasn't really a fan of. They um, tasted like kind of slightly stale cinnamon waffle to me. I may be missing the point there, but um, yeah, they seemed... I liked the cinnamon flavour, but I didn't really quite get why the dough tasted the way it did. Tomorrow I don't really have any more plans. I might take a bus tour again. Or I might go exploring with my own two feet. I'm not really too sure yet. But I think I'm going to have another lie-in and just see where the world takes me. So good night everybody. Thank you for watching once again. And I hope you join me back soon for the continuation of this adventure. Thanks very much everybody. Cheerio.